Letter to Parents. This article is written by Mr. Richard Tizano, Elder Law and Estate Planning Attorney at Gerard McGonagall Tizano and Lind. Dear Mr. Tizano, I got a call from an old neighbor, Patty, on Tuesday that my dad is in the hospital. She has been a great neighbor to my folks forever. I remember playing basketball in their driveway with their son, Jim. He was a great friend. I never dreamed that he would not come back from Vietnam. Patty said that dad has been doing most everything around the house, including taking care of mom. And she said that she didn't know if mom would be able to stay in the house alone. I had no idea that my dad was doing so much for so long. Looking back to when I last visited almost a year ago, I guess that I should have picked up on the subtle changes. Dad was up before mom and was doing a lot of the little things around the house. And we did eat out a lot. Even if I had become more aware of the situation, I would not have known how to discuss it with them. I got in Wednesday afternoon. Patty was there to meet me with a woman named Marie. Patty said dad paid Marie to help with mom sometimes. They were feeding mom dinner. Mom was glad to see me, but she seemed confused. She asked me where Arnie was. Patty and Marie exchanged glances and Patty touched mom's shoulder and said, Arnie had to go to the hospital. They are checking him out. Gladys, have another bite of your dinner. Patty took me aside to let me know that Marie was available to say, stay the night to help with mom and that she thought it might be a good idea. I asked her to stay. Mom continued to ask where dad was. It is now Friday. I visited with dad in the hospital for a short time yesterday. I was asked about dad's medical power of attorney and physician's directive. Dad was able to tell me that he is sure they did a will when we were little, but he doesn't remember if they did powers of attorney. I have not been able to find any papers, will, or anything around the house. They may be in a safety deposit box at the bank, but I wouldn't know where, and I certainly don't have a key. The doctor says that dad is improving and may be released to a nursing home next week for rehabilitation. He asked me if I have a preference for a certain facility. I don't have a clue where he should go. They told me that dad will likely be in rehab for some weeks before he will be able to come home. And even then he would probably not be able to care for mom. Things seem out of control. I live 12 hours away. I took a couple of weeks leave from work, but I need to be back two weeks from this Monday. I am five years from retirement. Even if it was possible that I could be available to help out, I could not be a long-term caregiver for one of them, much less both of them. How will my parents pay for this? My parents own their house. They have lived there forever. I think that they both have social security and dad has a pension. Dad has mentioned taking a required annual minimum distribution, so he must have an IRA and maybe some investments. I really have no idea what they have, where it is, or how much it adds up to. I have an appointment to talk with you on Monday. I hope you can help us. Patty. I regularly receive communications that lay out the described scenario. The parents in the stories are from all walks of life and have different resources or backstories, but the point of need is the same. They have managed as well as their circumstances have allowed for as long as they could, up to the point where the realities of life have finally forced open a door to what I commonly call the accidental safari. The safari is in an unfamiliar, unfamiliar place in which decisions must be made quickly and can have life and death implications, while at the same time, the information needed to make those decision, decisions seems stubbornly elusive. The realization that all control of the situation has been lost brings us to a place where we'd be happy if we could just manage the crisis. I will tell you that the best way to manage in these circumstances is to prepare in advance. 
now is always a good time to stop and consider what necessary and reasonable action steps you can take to manage life when it becomes impossible to control. There is the great line at the culmination of the Avengers movie, The End Game. The evil Thanos, thinking he controls the all-powerful Infinity Stone, says, I am inevitable. He snaps his fingers to catapult the universe into chaos and death, but nothing happens. Iron Man, who actually has the Infinity Stone, says, I am Iron Man. And snapping his fingers, he eliminates Thanos and saves the universe from death and chaos. Now, unless you are Iron Man and possess all six of the Infinity Stones, take heed. Timely and careful preparation will provide you the best chance to manage the uncontrollable if and when it may arise.